We drink a lot of iced tea. We make it in these big two quart jars. I recently just updated the recipe on my blog because um, we tweaked a little bit how we make it to make it faster and to make it easier for kids to make it. So I thought I would show you how we do it. In our family, we feel it's really important to drink more than just water. We totally want our kids to drink lots of water. But when it's hot out, you need more than just water to stay well hydrated. So this iced tea has sugars in it, either honey or sugar. It's got salt, um, it's got lemon juice. It's just a really good homemade electrolyte to help keep you hydrated, especially if you're working outside in the garden, on the farm, maybe you got a husband who's working on a construction site like Mary is used to. It's just so important to stay well hydrated, to stay ahead of the game and not get heat stroke, sunstroke, or just feel exhausted because you're dehydrated. Quick iced coffee break. And yeah, you could hear my dishwasher before because this is real life and there's all sorts of things going on here. So the easiest way, fastest way to do it is definitely just tea bags. Second fastest way is a combination of tea bags and fresh herbals, like do you have mint in your garden, something like that. And then the third way, which is not as fast, but is the most frugal way and waste free way. Oh, quick iced tea making break for a kitten. Which one is this? I don't know. I forget their names. Well, these ones are confusing. Is it Squirrel Flight? Hmm. Or Boulder? Hmm. When I'm making a big batch of loose leaf, so when I use like hibiscus or dried mint are the most common for us, as well as the black tea and green tea, because they're so much cheaper to buy in bulk, I will just put the loose leaf tea in the jars and just one of them will have this. And I just make sure I have one empty jar so that I can pull it out. This one is now strained and good. Then I put the strainer into an empty jar, pour the bulk one, like the one with the loose leaf into the next one. And we can just keep going on and it makes it so that I can do loose leaf, multiple jars without it being too ridiculous. So one method that I will do for one that I won't strain is because I have some fresh mint here, which is delicious. And I don't think it needs to be strained out versus like when I do this loose leaf, it does need to be strained out. So I just do mint and black tea because I feel that just mint on its own doesn't really have enough depth of flavor. So then in this one, I'm going to do one black tea and one peach. This is one of our favorite iced teas. Um, I used to do two of these, but I think that it's good with just one and then it's more frugal. And then in our loose leaf one, I'm going to do this raspberry hibiscus green tea and I'm doing two tablespoons worth. Lately, I've been doing with honey for a couple of reasons. One, it's faster. <laughs> Sorry, not with honey. Lately, I've been doing it with sugar because it's faster and it's way cheaper. When we have our, like we have our own bees now and when they start producing honey, we will definitely be using honey, but it's just really expensive for a large family. They all get a pinch, fat pinches of good salt, which is the, Good electrolytes there. With this method of making iced tea, it's not gonna be ready until tomorrow. So the trick is that you just have to stay ahead of it, making it the day before, so that it's less effort, but you just have to be doing it ahead of time. I'm only 
you're making one loose leaf, I'm going to just leave the strainer in and when we go to drink it, I'll take it out. But if I was doing multiple, I would let it sit for about an hour and then I would do the straining process and then put them in the fridge. As you can see, there's dirty dishes in my kitchen because this is a real kitchen. We live here. Now I'm just gonna put the lids on all of them. And we actually have, well, we have three fridges. When you have a milk cow, you need a fridge just for the milk. And then we have one fridge that we call the beer fridge. And Marius says, no, it's just your second milk fridge. And I'm like, I don't have any milk in there. He's like, yeah, you just have cheese and yogurt and butter. All things made from your milk. And I'm like, but there's no milk. But it's also just kind of like our drink fridge. So I put these in the beer fridge. And when we need another one in here, we just bring it into the kitchen. This is also nice when Marius is working outside. Um, he'll often just pop into the mudroom where the beer fridge is, refill his cup. He pretty much always has a travel mug of first coffee and then iced tea because he finds it so good. When he worked in construction, it wasn't uncommon for other guys to get sick and not feel good the first week of hot weather. And Marius didn't have this issue because he was just like the first day with any hint of warmth. He's like, can you make iced tea? And I would get making it or Mac would make it. And actually he makes it now too. And he would make sure he was drinking this and he would drink one of these a day. This is a two quart Yeti. So it actually fits an entire jar of iced tea. These are not cheap. There is a cheaper one that is apparently just as good. I'll see if I can find it on Amazon for you. But he would just bring one of these. And then he also has a clean canteen one. It's not insulated, so he would bring both. This would be his morning. This would be his afternoon for when it got hot and it would still be so cold. Definitely worth it. Even when he worked outside in cold weather, he would bring warm water in this and otherwise this would just freeze solid because he was working in like minus 30. So this doesn't stay thawed in minus 30. Here is what some of this mint stuff looks like the next day. Um, I made this yesterday with some of that fresh mint. It is so delicious. We also um, have these inexpensive Rubbermaid juice jugs. We use them for milk and we use them for iced tea because we find that our kids don't pour well from these and we end up with a lot of spilled milk and iced tea. Whereas with these, um, so much easier for them to pour from and two of them fit on the door of our fridge really well. So we actually have four of them, two for milk, two for iced tea. And it's actually amazing that there's even one clean in the drawer. They're usually just in constant rotation. I'm not sure what he's talking about calling this a milk fridge. I, you know, I don't see any milk in here. <laughs> lots of cheese and that drawer is full of cheese too. Now the iced tea is hanging out in here. There's some hibiscus stuff. I love the hibiscus especially for serving kids that are used to drinking juice and store-bought drinks because it looks like store-bought juice. I hope that gave you some good ideas to use what you have. I would love to hear some of your favorite drink combinations what your family likes to drink in hot weather. There's also a lemonade recipe on my blog five minute honey sweetened lemonade. I won't tell anybody if you use sugar. Iced teas on my blog, so is iced coffee. So many good drinks.